When did God create the angels? In this video, we'll try to find out. Reminder, hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date as new videos come out. And if you're interested in supporting this ministry, just go to JustScripture.org and click on the support page. When it comes to the creation account in Genesis 1, is that we don't see any mentioning of the angels being created. Yet, when we get to chapter 3, is that all of a sudden supernatural beings are on the scene. So, it makes one wonder, when were the heavenly beings created? Now, before getting into the weeds of this, is that it's good to dispel one's thinking that angels are supernatural beings with wings and halos. What pop culture typically depicts as angels today are never described with such characteristics in the Bible. We know that they look no different than us regular earth dwellers because the men of Sodom referred to them as men where before and even after verse 5 that Moses described them as both men and angels. Where the winged idea comes from is the description of the Ark of the Covenant that had two winged cherubim covering the mercy seat on top and from Isaiah 6, where Isaiah sees the seraphim in heaven before the throne of God. And since there are many examples of these in the Old Testament, that the lines got blurred into thinking that angels have wings as well. But when you look into the passages where heavenly beings are showing up, is that they are only ever described looking like regular men, and that the Hebrew word malach, should only be understood as a job title as they are messengers sent by God. So, when were the angels created? Well, most would likely reference Job 34, 38, 4, and 7 that say, Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. From these, it appears that God described it as though the angels were already on the scene as he was forming the earth. So, that would place their creation prior to that of the physical universe. And I think a lot can imagine God creating them, and then they get to watch him create the universe and everything in it. And in that, they bust out into song and praise because of the awesomeness that would involve being seeing it live. Now, this only leaves us having to ask as if there is another possible candidate for their creation. And yes, there is. With day three. Going back to Job 38.4 is that the word for earth is a retz that can be speaking about the whole planet or dry land in general. And you even see this at the beginning of Job. Continuing on this train of thought is that if you look at verses 4 through 11, is that you can see a lot of day two, three things, like the seas and clouds being established. The connector here for us is Psalm 104. Upon reading the whole psalm, is that some have observed that the psalmist, psalmist praising of the Lord follows the days of creation with the 35 verses being outlined as such. The final five verses would be an allusion to the Sabbath day and the covenant being enacted on Mount Sinai. Now with this outline in view is that in verse 4 it says, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire? Then verse 5 should sound familiar, saying, Who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever? So, you can see the same language of the laying of the foundations of the earth that could be pointing to day 3 that had the angels present, but the added wrinkle here is that verse 104 4 said that God made his angels spirits. 
That word is found in days two through six, but not on day one. So, if you combine all those thoughts together, is that you could build a case for the angels being created on day three. Now, regardless of all that, is that the most important thing to remember is the one who did all the creating. Reminder, hit the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to visit us at JustScripture.org. But in the meantime, stay salty.